Good morning, modern steaders. Did you hear that? Nope, not the pigs. The baby chicks are in there just chirping away. All three of them are still doing good. I think the black and white ones are barred rocks. So Mr. Big's the dad. And then the white one in the back is an Americana. But I'm not sure who's the rooster daddy. I guess we should feed the pigs. You girls hungry this morning? Now the older the pigs get, the more aggressive they get with their food and with each other over the food. But one of the reasons you want to have two pigs is, is it makes them eat more food. So you kind of need that competition going on. Don't fly out. Make sure a moose gets some feed. We got a nice little soaking rain this morning. I think we heard it around like three o'clock this morning. So that'll be good for the grass seed we planted and for the grass seed we'll put out today. It'll help it stick to the dirt. Good morning. Did you sleep good? What are you leery of there, Willow? It's like you're searching for something. So the goat teat tape has been working, but I'm not getting that much more milk from her. So I'm thinking the goats were almost weaned completely anyways. So I'm going to do this probably for the rest of the day today. And then I'm going to stop. Now I ran out of winter rye the other day, so I want to get this conservation mix put down first. Then I'm going to run out this morning, get some winter rye, and we'll put some winter rye down too. Oh, the last few days we've been having cooler weather. We can wear sweatshirts, but it's not supposed to last. We're supposed to get back into the high 80s and humid, which I really don't like, but that might be good for this grass seed we're planting, the humidity. <sighs> Getting there. It's a lot of walking. At a fast pace, keeping up with the cedar. Everybody else likes watching other people make messes. 
because then they don't gotta clean it up themselves, right? That's gonna make a lot of nice zucchini bread this winter. Olivia, found me a recipe for, what did you find me a recipe for? Zucchini chocolate chip cookies. Uh-oh, sounds good. At first it didn't sound good, but if you look at pictures, it didn't look good. I asked her to look me up a recipe and she's like, I said, why are you making that face? Ew. Ew. So, sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds good to me. The picture, after you look at the picture, it looks good. Oh, okay. I gotta run to town so we can go get some winter rye to put back down on that field since we got it all planted with conservation seed mix. And I'll try not to sing while we're on the ride. <laughs> stop and get some lettuce for our BLTs for lunch today. All right, now that we got our winter rye, let's go get that planted. The purpose of the winter rye is an extra cover crop that'll grow a little bit faster, and then it'll die off and add a little bit more organic material to the pasture. There. I think we got about half of the pasture raked and seeded. If not half, it's close to it. You want some fresh bedding put down? It's nothing you want to eat. Oh, you think you want to jump on it? I see how you are. You think everything's a toy, don't you? You think it's all a toy for you. Ready? Okay, I'm going to put it in the barn. You got to get off it. No, you got to get off it. You silly goat. Hey. All right, let's see if we can do this. Carry the straw and the goat. Oh. oh. Good, spread it out. You're not gonna like it. They make this new fancy contraption they call an electric weed whacker that we borrow from our in-laws every time we need to weed whack.
you don't like me weed whacking, you'll have to do a better job eating the grass. Yeah. You heard me. Now you want to come back in? Well, we grind our, not we, Gina, grinded up a bunch of zucchini. She's making cookies with them right now, and the pigs get the leftovers. Where's Lynx hiding? Huh? Where's Lynx? There you are. Have some zucchinis. that pile smell better to you? Nope. Need to get some tomatoes. BLTs for lunch. So those are zucchini chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. That'll be fun to try. They look delicious. They can't be not good. I don't see how they could not be good. Right. That'd be good. Oops, one down. How many pieces of bacon should I cut up to? Well, I bet you everybody's going to have about, you're going to cook extra, we'll have a pepper. Come on. Yeah. Because we'll probably have about like two slices. Don't hurt yourself. You're not going to. We had some friends over to enjoy the pasture raised BLTs with us. They were so good and we had such a good time. We lost track of time and this is where we're going to end the video for the day and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom. <laughs>